Hey guys, so we're going to take this validation schema that we're using on both our React website and on our back end over here and put it in a central place so they can both use it um, because they want it to be the exact same thing and that way we're not duplicating code. So what we're going to do is create a new package. So we're going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this common. And this common folder, if we take a look, um, if we just ls packages, um, ls packages, um, it's going to be in the same level. So we're going to have web, server, and then also common. So if we cd into common, we're going to set this up. First thing we need to do is initialize its package.json. So you can do npm or yarn init. I'm going to just accept all the um, common things or all the uh, default ones. Now the name of this I'm going to change. So you want to think about what you want the overarching name of your project to be. Uh, I'm just going to stick with ABB. And so I'm going to say at sign and then the overarching name. So ABB and then slash common. So this is just a naming convention um, that basically for each package. So uh, and you probably want to do this for each one. So this is basically your overarching project name and then what the individual package is. And then for example, I would rename this one. So this would be ab dot or ab slash server. And then over here, ab dot web. And now you can easily uh, find all of the packages because they're all under at ab. Um, it's just a naming convention though. You can pretty much name them whatever you want to. This is just kind of a recommended. So what we're going to do here is, uh, I guess the first thing is to create a Let's create a source directory, and inside of source, um, let's create a index.ts, and uh, we're going to be using TypeScript, so let's install some dependencies that we're going to need. So I'm going to say yarn add add as a dev dependency TypeScript. Um, we don't need ts node. Let's go ahead and get ts lint, and we can get ts lint prettier. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need for now. So I'm going to save that. And next thing we're going to do is, uh, oh, we also need yup, because we're going to add yup here. So I'm going to create a folder called yup schemas, and we can just put all our stuff there, because we may want to share other things besides yup schemas. And so I'm going to call this user.ts, because this is going to hold basically our user um, schema, um, at least for registering and signing up. So I'm going to just copy this and put it inside of user.ts. And uh, I want to look over here at my uh, resolver. So we use this register password validation is what we called it. Um, let's grab that. So I'm just going to use that. I know I broke it apart over here, but Let's go ahead and I'm gonna add the required field to this. Dot required. All right, and so this is going to be register password validation. And now I need to export all of these things. So export, export, export. And I just need to import yup. So star as yup from yup. And we need to grab, so yarn add yup. And then we also need to install the types for yup. And we also need a tsconfig. So let's add tsconfig.json. And we can pretty much just copy what we have for our server. Um, server tsconfig, yep and paste that in. And then I guess we don't really need experimental decorators and emit decorator metadata so we can get rid of those. I don't think it really matters if we had them though. So our out directory is gonna be a dist. We could call it lib, I'm just fine keeping it dist. Um, this can be the folder where our compiled code is gonna go so that's gonna be important. So in our package.json we wanna say our main is going to be a dist slash index.js. And then we also want to specify typings. And that's going to be dist slash index.d.t. 
TS. So this is where uh, the location of our TypeScript types are going to be. So when we compile our code, it's going to go there. Um, let's go ahead and start another install. Uh, the types for yup. And then here we just need to tell it to make sure to omit so declaration um, true. So when you specify declaration true, when you compile your TypeScript code, it's going to omit a file called index.d.ts and it's going to have all your types in there. And I'll show you guys that when we actually compile this. Um, all right, so we have this stuff here. We're installing the types for it right now. Um, let's go ahead and also add a tslint.json. And actually, we can just copy the exact same one we have for our server. Um, paste that in. Um, and this just grabs our global one. All right, so this looks like it's good. So in our index.ts, we are just going to export everything from yup schemas schemas slash user all right so now all this stuff is going to be available when we export it so basically in our index this is going to be our central central place of all the exported things so as we add more things that are going to be common between them uh, we can add new files and folders and an in index.ts will just export everything and then when we compile, we're going to be compiling this index.ts and everything, and that's going to be our main file um, to be able to access everything. All right, so I think we're good to go with this. Everything's um, accessible and whatnot. Um, unless I forgot anything, I think we can go ahead and run uh, the compile step and see what happens. So scripts, I'm going to create, I'll call this build. And it's just going to run TypeScript compiler, so TSC, and uh, that should build our code. So yarn build, and make sure you're doing this in the common directory. Uh, assuming this does build, we should get a new folder over here called dist. Um, okay, so looks like we have a problem with that. This sh we should be able to get rid of this with the. Um, no lib check, or I think it was called skip lib check. I forget the name of it. Uh, we added it in our web, I believe. So ts config. Yep, we want to skip the lib check. So let's add that to our ts config, and we're gonna rebuild. And you can already see there's a dist over here. Uh, did I misspell schemas? No, it, it oddly has a capital C for me. So if I go into dist, uh, this is kind of weird. I, so take a look at this. I don't know, this font might be too small, but yup schemas, SC is capitalized here. Um, but if I go into source, it's not capitalized here. So for whatever reason, when I'm building the code, it randomly capitalizes the C there. Um, I wonder if that's just something got messed up. Uh, usually what you do, um, also when you this is good to add to the build step is to remove uh, the dist so every time you build it doesn't actually clear the um, basically the old build that you do so it's recommended to just remove everything so remove rf dot, dot slash dist and then you run TSC now I know a lot of you are not necessarily on something that can run this command so if you're on Windows for example it doesn't work so what we can do is we can actually add something called rimraf. Um, and what rimraf does is it's exactly this command. So what this command does is it deletes everything. So we can actually just run rimraf on dist and it'll go ahead and uh, kill it before we run it. So rimraf. Um, oh, so okay, what happened is uh, we need to just reload this. So I'm gonna say don't save. There we go. So it, it, it added rimraf as a dependency as I was editing this. So we're going to say rimraf um, dot slash dist and then run the compiler. And I'm going to run yarn build again. And so if you saw real quick, it killed the dist folder and now it remade it. Um, it still has a capital C in there. I wonder if that's going to cause a problem. Um, doesn't seem like it is. So I don't know why, uh, what's going on with that, but cool. 
uh, but you can see so it has our index.js in here it also has here's our types um, and I guess it looks like it's just exporting the types over here um, but here is the types for our code so I guess these are just static um, and then here's some yup stuff alrighty so let's actually use this now um, so let's start with our web so in our package.json we are going to add it as a dependency so I'm going to say um, at ab slash um, not com uh, common and it's going to be version 1.0 so whatever you called um, the package.json over here so we called ours ab slash common you're going to use that same name here um, and then you're going to just we'll go up directory to be explicit do yarn install and what yarn should do is sim link, sim link everything together and we should now have access to this in our uh, project so now what I can do is in our register view over here is I don't need to have any of this here um, and so of course it's going to tell me there's no validation schema I can say import validation schema from and I'm going to say at ab slash common. Oh, by the way, validation schemas is a really bad name because we're going to have more than one validation schema. Uh, so let's rename that. Um, all right, cool. So it looks like it, it got it. Okay, I can see the type definition for it. I'm going to call this. Um, okay, so register, that's good. I'm going to call this valid user schema. So, so okay, so this is an um, important detail. We just changed, I just went over in there and changed the schema, right? So now, if I want to get the valid user right from this, it doesn't exist in there. Um, uh, well, I guess I should actually type the whole name to show you it doesn't like it. Um, there you go. All right, so it doesn't like it. It says, um, it can't find it has no exported member and the reason for that is we didn't build it again so every time we make a change to the common over there we have to rebuild it because it's this dist folder that is getting shared so packages common we'll say yarn build and uh, if we're doing something where we're constantly making changes to common uh, then what I usually do is set up uh, TypeScript to watch that directory so you can do TSC dash dash watch and what that'll do is it'll just constantly rebuild all right, so now it's good, it likes it. And so our validation schema is going to be valid user schema. Perfect. All right, and all right, so it just straight can't find the module. Um, I think it was finding it before, so I don't know what, what changed here. Um, we have it here. Um, let's go ahead and just yarn install everything again and see if something broke in the middle. All right, nothing broke. The other thing we can try whenever this happens is I just kill the um, node modules. So I'll cd into packages web and I'll just remove the node modules and I'll yarn install everything again. Um, and then that usually fixes it. It looks like our website is rendering okay. I think I have the server up and running. Uh, the other thing I think I might just need to to uh, restart the TypeScript server. That's the other thing. Um, I'm just gonna restart the TypeScript server and see. I think this is just my editor. If I come over here to the server, um, it looks like it's fine. And let's see if the code does work. So that's a bad email. Um, yep, it does show up. And now it's a good email. So all right, so it is validating my typing. So it, it is working and everything's good. Uh, okay, yeah, it looks like I restarted my TypeScript server and everything is working cool. Um, and then we can do the same thing on the server real quickly. Um, so in server package.json, we can add, and we want to add this as a regular dependency. Um, we can say at ab slash common 1.0. And then in our register resolver, uh, we don't need this schema we can just import and we can get rid of this stuff 
and we're going to import this from ab slash common and get the valid user schema. And so we can change it right here, valid user schema. Uh, and now we're using that. Now I think we're we're using this in maybe a few other places. And we can get rid of yep. So I think, for example, in our register test. So these three, I think is these three. So these three messages we now can get from the shared directory. So in my test over here, I can add, and this is the register test. I can get these three messages because we added that to our common directory and we exported them. So we can get those from ab slash common as well. Um, and I think there was one other place we were using it. Um, and I actually created a, a thing. So I created something called yup schemas.ts in the root in the source directory of server. We can just delete that. We don't even need it. So register password validation. So register password. And I'm just going to search for this. And I'm going to search for it in server slash source. Um, all right, so we are using this also in forgot password. So now, uh, instead of getting it from yup schemas, we get it from ab slash common. All right, so this is in modules user forgot password resolvers typescript. Um, we can edit the uh, just where this comes from. So now we're getting all this code from uh, this common directory. So now if I change it over here, it'll update in all those packages. So that's it for this video, guys. So that's how you can share code across. And then we're going to continually do this as we add more schemas and do more things. We're going to put stuff in common. Uh, and then import it across to each package. Um, so that's it for this video. What we're going to do in the next one is uh, clean up this code for the form. So we can get rid of a ton of the boilerplate and simplify and make this uh, form look a lot cleaner, which I'll show you in the next video.